hello everybody welcome back uh, our tour around the world continues with uh, Tomek Murash uh, presenting from Poland he, Tomek will talk about how create Moodle form mockups so Tomek uh, I leave you the presentation okay all right thank you very much hello everyone uh, my name is Tomek Muras. I am um, one of the Moodle developers in Innovation. We are one of the premium Moodle partners. And today I'd like to talk to you about uh, creating uh, Moodle form mockups. Now, um, imagine you are working on a new uh, Moodle project, uh, be it a plugin or some extension to Moodle. And, um, you know, very often part of what the plugins or in general web applications do is capturing some data from the end users and processing it, storing the database and so on. So the normal usual way to do it is by doing um, a form using basic, you know, an HTML form, which means in Moodle using Moodle form API and creating nice looking forms. So if you are at the early stage of the project and you are just, uh, say, uh, gathering the requirements for the project, it's often a good idea to think about the forms that you will use. So basically think about the way you will capture the data and what kind of data you're going to capture. So uh, it's a good idea to, to document form uh, as part of the requirements. Now, how do you do it? Um, the most like obvious way would be to create some kind of uh, Excel spreadsheet or a Word document and uh, fill the table with you know with fields like uh, this is this is form number one and this is like the the, the stuff I'm going to capture like uh, first name last name email address and these fields are required these are not this is a phone number um, this one is email and so on and so forth you can uh, you could even do it in a more formal way like use UML or you know some more formal um, notation to to capture all this data. But, you know, the truth is that usually when you are at the early stage of gathering the requirements and talking to someone about the project that is yet to be developed, you don't really need to cover every single detail about every single um, data point you will need to capture, like how long it's going to be, what's the maximum number of characters, is it a string or not, and so on. Um, at this stage, usually it's um, more important to uh, to make your documentation and your requirements and your intention clear. And uh, one way to do it is to do a mock-up for mock-ups, right? Um, there is a lot of software to create uh, for mock-ups like, like the one I'm just showing. There is um, there is some software that is specialized in doing uh, for mock-ups, basically mock-ups of web applications. So it's pretty simple to create a mock-up like that basically, you know, drag and drop all the elements and then quite quickly create a mock-up of the website. But now, what I'm going to suggest today and uh, basically share the idea to not do mock-ups like this at all when you are designing or working on a new Moodle project, but instead actually get your IDE up and running and actually code the, the whole lot code the HTML form, and then basically make a screenshot out of it, and that's gonna be your mock-up. Now, why would you do it? Well, first of all, if, if what you are designing is, um, is a plugin to the existing website, then if you create the actual real HTML form in your model, you can put it there and use the existing branding, team, look and feel, and show in a, in a screenshot how it's really gonna look like. So we are showing to your client uh, the look and feel of the website that they are used to. Um, if you are forced to create the real code, that may help you with the design and the estimates. For example, um, you have some data you need to capture, you start creating the form and then you realize that, well, maybe for this bit of data, you I'm actually gonna need some um, HTML element that does not exist in Moodle API or it's difficult to create with Moodle API or maybe there will be a need for some extra JavaScript. 
So actually it will turn out that creating a form as required is gonna take a bit more time than you may um, expect. Uh, if you do create the form like this, then the code you create is actually like, it's, it's perfect specification. Instead of handing to a next developer um, um, something like, you know, an Excel spreadsheet with the form description, you give someone else real working code. And then you tell him, well, now create the rest of the application. You are a bit ahead. You've created some code already and um, the development didn't even start yet. Um, and finally, creating forms with Moodle, it's actually probably quicker than you may think. And that's what uh, I'm going to, to show right now as a, as in a quick demo. And like for me, for example, it's, it's actually easier um, to code than to use another software for doing the mockups. Like I, I wouldn't be doing using software for mockups or for diagrams very often while we write the code pretty much every single day. So it's actually easier and more convenient for, for me to, to, to work with you know, IDE and Moodle API than with some other tool. So let's actually try to, to, to create a, a form mockup right now. Imagine that we are, um, here are our requirements and we are working on some custom registration form. And uh, here is the custom registration form for developers. We are asking developers to join our project. And we are asking them for, uh, for some data. Like we are asking them, what's their favorite programming language? What are the technologies they use? Uh, we give them some field for comments, ask them for a date and ask them for a file, which would be a CV upload. So I will share my screen now. You. And we will try to create a form. Let's see if I think it should be okay. Okay. So what I have here, it's a clean Moodle 3.9 installation with just a team applied. Besides that, it's, a, it's just a normal uh, Moodle. And what I'm going to use is smooth uh, command line utility to generate some code. So we need to put the form uh, in, in a plugin. Normally, you know, we create, uh, we extend Moodle by creating plugins. In this case, we've decided we will use a local plugin for that. So with Moosh, I will create, uh, I will basically generate a skeleton and empty local plugin. I will call it registration. Okay, so the source code has been created. There is new plugin. Okay, fine. So I have my plugin. You know, it's pretty much empty. There is there is just a there's few skeleton files inside. Uh, now I need to generate my HTML form. Again, I will use a command from Moodle that will um, use a template and generate the form text. What it's doing, I will call the form registration. What this is doing is it will create a class, form class, but also a code snippet for using the form. I will redirect it into registration.php script, the script that I will use to, to actually open the form. Now, the code fragment that's been created, it's, this is what it is. It's just the fragment piece of code that you need to use in your, uh, in your script. So we need to make it a valid PHP script. I just adding the tag. We need to make it a valid um, Moodle page. So basically that means bootstrapping model by adding uh, config PHP. That's two directories up. Okay. And now another thing we need to do, we need, we need to display a header and the footer. As you can see, I'm doing a lot of typos. I'm a bit nervous. Sorry about that. 
footer. And that should be it. So here it is. This is our form. As you can see, it's empty. By default, it only has the, the buttons, and that's all there is. Now we need to add the elements for our form. So basically, uh, here are our requirements. And uh, we need to add the elements for this. Hopefully, Mush has um, form add command from Mush uh, has a list of the HTML elements that Moodle supports. So for the first one, we had our favorite language. We select. Then we said we'll have checkboxes for um, technologies. We will use actually advanced checkbox, which is a bit handier than the normal checkbox. And we had one for MySQL, Postgres. We said there was a Docker and Redis. And we said we'll have text area for the comments. Here it is. We said we will have availability that should be a date. Um, we have our date selector. And finally, we said we will let, uh, we'll have five picker for the CV uploads. So uh, that's our file picker and we call it CV. Okay, as you can see my, uh, my screen here on the left hand side, it keeps refreshing each time I add a new code because this is generating new code. That's thanks to XDo tool integration. Basically any type, anytime I type a mush command here, it sends signal to my Firefox window to, to refresh. Now, um, there are language strings that are not being translated. I don't have translations for them yet. So it looks pretty bad, but there is a mush command generate lang that basically in the current directory will go through all the language strings, try to find them and add them to your language file automatically. Uh, after this one, you need to clear the cache. And finally, uh, what we need to do is, as you can see, we didn't put, like, there are no values for our select dropdown, so we add them. This is the code of the form class that's been generated. So I will add just the languages, let's say, PHP, Python, and Java. Okay. okay, and that's it. So at this stage, as you can see, um, the form is ready. It's fully functional form. You can basically uh, make a screenshot out of this. That's what I would do. Just create a screenshot out of that and put that into your um, proper requirements documentation. Stop sharing. All right, so that's pretty much it. That was the full demo, uh, live demo of creation of the HTML form that you can use for requirements or you know for another documentation. Um, if you have any other ideas or any insights of core questions, you can put them here now. Or basically, uh, if you want to share uh, how do you create and do you create form mockups as part of your requirements then I guess the best place to do it would be to put it under the forum, under the appropriate thread. So Hello. thank you very much. Yep. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we have uh, one question uh, by Silvia. Uh, I put it in the chat. Uh, she's basically asking uh, which role do you need to have to create Moodle form mockups? Uh, I share it here on, a, on the chat so you have it written. This is this is you need to be a, you need to have access to the source code. So the the presentation I was showing that was my local setup on my local development machine. 
So all the commands that I've been running, they were creating the source code and editing the source code files that then I was displaying. So there is no role. You, you have to have your development environment set up. Thank you, Tomek. Uh, there are no other questions. Uh, so I believe we can uh, just finalize this section. Thank you very much for your presentation. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the mood. Thank you all. Thank you.